those years, living the life of someone I didn't even know. Let me tell you about you. I want to make you rich. You see the palm trees. They tell you anything's possible. No one cares about reality anymore. <laughs> Different these days. What's going on with you? I can't remember a man I wanted to be. Just don't threaten me with leaving, okay? Just do what you want to do. Um, it's a pleasure to see you again, sir. Pleasure. Let me start by saying, and I want to be very brief about this, uh, so happy for Adam McKay and Big Short winning yeah, Spring Play. Yeah, me too. Wonderful, wasn't it? Uh, fantastic. Great stuff. Uh, Good guy. Uh, very excited to see what Adam does next. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, jumping into why I get to talk to you today, I'm a big fan of Malick, and one of the things that's really unique about Malick is the way he works compared to every other director. Right. When you sat down with him at first, and he's talking to you about working together, how does he sell you on what the movie is about? I kind of talked with him for um, you know years and 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 heard him talking about this this change that he wanted to make, and I, I witnessed it somewhat when we first worked together on the New World. In that there was a script, but he really never paid any attention to it. Like he was kind of oh, let's get rid of that, you know, let's, let's just do this instead. And then gradually just coming to a point where he kind of says, well, you know, what do you think? And I actually do something. I'll just give you kind of character description, and then just yeah, off you go, see what happens. So I'm like, great, let's try that. You know, it's fantastic. Getting away from all these kind of goal-oriented scenes where you got to finish, you got to get to a certain point instead of just well, let's just see what happens. So it wasn't a big surprise to me, you know. And uh, you know, I, 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 I love Terry to bits. Love. A conversations with him and um, just went, yeah, great, all right, you know, I want, I, want, I want to do that. He's on his own journey, as the character is, you know, about what he can do with film. You know, he certainly is inside. Look, I, th I think he could impeccably execute, you know, a, a more traditionally scripted film and with the different goals, but it just, it doesn't interest him right now. You know, he's like, he just can't bring himself to do that. He feels bored with it. And so as opposed to an awful lot of directors where you'll rehearse and kind of, oh, now we're really nailing it. Now we've got the perfect moment because that helps with the next scene. Terry goes, now you're in this prison. You've like gotten a rut, you know, he wants you to, start before you feel like you're ready you know he wants to have those accidents he wants to have those pauses and he's and he's genuine when he says look here you go uh, maybe you can say these lines maybe there's a couple of lines here that you know you work out your own version of it but if you don't feel like it forget it you've got to feel it and it'd be very often in that case you know and Rick's a character who's kind of a man of words who's lost the use of words yeah, I just didn't say anything. And they go, perfect, got it. We didn't need anything said anyway. You know, fantastic. Did you have another film with Malik coming out about the Austin music scene? Um, uh, no, let me, let me, oh. uh, uh, I'd worked three days on that, all right? Uh. So anyone who gets involved with a Terry film, they know that, look, I'm either not in the film or I might be the lead in the film. <laughs> You know, could be one or the other. I wanted to ask you though, did you ever get the feeling that maybe when you're shooting this, he's actually shooting that and vice versa? It could be, maybe he could blend the two of them. We also did a little bit from the, I, I hear it's being called Weightless. Right? Yeah. We did a bit of that way before. Had a fantastic day at, uh, um, in Austin, um, going around backstage and actually going out on stage with some bands and, and you know working out. I don't know if any of that will end up in the film at all, but we had just a wonderful time. And that's the thing you got to go for with Terry, which I think is actually the, the thing you got to go for as an actor with any film, is just that you, you, you go for the process because you're not in charge of the reward, right? I mean, that's the, that's the editor and that's the director. As an actor, you do it and you might find some of your best work never ends up in the film, you know? But you can't become all upset about that, you know. Uh, uh, so you've just got to really get into the process, and uh, and Terry uh, Terry exemplifies that more than any other director. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time.